Hey everybody, welcome to Rhymes with Play. Uh, that's that's the clay dev stream that we put out periodically on Thursdays. And uh, uh, normally, you know, it's it's a it's a two two hosts thing. I'm I'm Jason, and normally there's someone else with me. But today, I'm just hosting by myself, and we're going to be like, oh, what's that? Ah, it's I'm a raid! It's, it's a raid! A raid. <laughs> Surprise! Wow, how how <laughs> fortuitous! This, 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 I'm a pirate monkey. This update's all about pirate oh, monkeys, right? Oh, oh, so oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for better timing on that. Hey everyone, <laughs> I am May, an artist on DST. Welcome to our stream. Haven't seen you guys in a hot minute, mm -hmm. but we're back, and uh, it's good to it's good to be here. Uh, we have the privilege of. Uh, showcasing our latest update the mm -hmm. team has been working hard and um it is uh now we're, we're i'm gonna spoil a bit of a uh some what's it self-discovery here okay the, the, the name of this update if i pronounce it properly will ruin it for somebody who doesn't know how it's pronounced properly one day finding out because it's a good pun yes. the update is curse of the moon King. quite quite <laughs> Moon Quay, right? No. What? No. Huh? Curse of the Moon Key. The the uh, the Q U A Y in is pronounced key. In in Vancouver, we have these two places. There's the Lonsdale Key and the New West Key. So we're very familiar with that uh, uh, pronunciation. Aye. But uh, uh, a, a key is like like a sort of a wharf area where boats can come in and there's markets and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, uh, so it is the, uh, wait, the wait, curse wait. of moon key. key. Wait, if you say moon key fast enough, I think I'm getting there here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I'm getting there here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Welcome to the curse of moon key update Yes. on Don't Stop Together. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, Thank you to those that were part of the beta which mm -hmm. we ran, and uh, now it's just it's out there mm -hmm. for your for your enjoyment and uh, your discovery. So this this is the uh, wonderful new menu art that Haley did for us, and um, uh, I don't think it's just amazing. I think it's worth two amazings. Zing! Can you give me two? Zing zing. There's two mazings. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a great, it's a great menu. We're, we're so. full of puns today, <laughs> and always. Uh, so uh, let's get into it. Shout um, out to uh, everyone on, in the stream chat. I'm gonna keep an eye, and uh, you know, oh, if you have any questions, ask them, and we'll try our best to answer. We also have some game devs in the chat as well that can probably uh, mm. um, help out with uh, things that we miss. So here we go. When what what when did this moon key thing start? Uh, so pretty much when we were making the ocean content, uh, the, the idea of pirates for me, pig pirates was always going to go in. We just we just always when you know when can we get that update in? And uh, we decided that it was going to be this update that we were like finally it's time for the pig pirates. And then during our, our design talks and, and you know, uh, uh, fleshing it out, yeah, uh, we realized that monkeys was a better idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. And uh, I guess one of our goals was to expand on the ocean content. And so what better way to do that mm -hmm. than have some swashbucklers mm -hmm. do that? Most of the content that does go into the main world is generally to fill out the ocean content. You know, it's like... Mm -hmm. uh, start filling up that space yeah yeah so uh the team have been working on this i would say since january uh as well as putting out other content such as the wx rework and the uh carnival which i hope you guys had a chance to uh enjoy as well so we kind of have two teams going on at the same time and this was kind of our, our bigger uh project that we were working on um, so it's exciting to actually have it out and playable right now um, yeah, so Jason, you're just going to kind of show us uh, some of the new content? Yeah, so um, there's there's sort of three sections to this update. Uh, and the, the, the first section I'm going to show is a bunch of new boat stuff. Uh, uh, things that you can you can uh, do with the boats. Uh, the... Be before you do that, I just yeah. want to um, 
just to mention, we're going to split up this stream to have a bit of game uh, play with Jason, and then later on, I'll be able to showcase some of the concept art involved yeah. with making this update. Yeah. So stick around for that too. Yeah. So uh, there is a new, a like cheaper, lower level boat. It only takes some grass and some twigs to make. It's called the grass grass raft, and it comes in like its little kit, as most boat stuff does. And when you launch it, you can see it's a little smaller than the regular boat, and it has uh, uh, has a couple of uh, strange ups and downsides to it. The one upside to it is that it doesn't get leaks like like the wooden boat does. Like if you ram into something, it won't like spring a leak. But the downside is it's it's always just leaking. Mm. It's always and, and as you as you sail around in it, you can see a little bits of it slowly deteriorate away. So right. you can you can see up here that it's it's just slowly dying on me. So there's less commitment to make one of these boats though, right? Because they're quite oh yeah yeah. It's just it's just some grass and some twigs. So so uh, you can find that stuff. Yeah, you uh, uh, you can you can boat early if you want to. You can get around and um, yeah, that's the grass boat. So that's kind of a good um, what's it like early game mechanic yeah yeah, yeah. that it's uh, uh it's a little forgiving for you but uh, uh you know it's it's temporary right uh and it, it encourages you not to to go and build masts and and anchors and things on it so it does really you know it's like you're not really having to commit a lot to it to mm -hmm. get, get it out there which is good um another thing we have is the the trawler and this is a ocean fishing device it's kind of like it's kind of like the rabbit traps mm -hmm. except except for schools of fish maybe i can catch these guys and what would the incentive to use one of these be so this is where you, you put it out in the ocean and oh, i have to set it um you uh uh oh i got to put my paddle away there we go so so now it's ready to catch fish and I can come back to it later. Mm -hmm. uh, if I if I come back to it too late, uh, fish may have broken out of it. So you need to, to come back and check it every so often. But it will it will uh, collect fish over time, and then you can raise it and, and take the fish out of it. And then you can eat them, and yeah. then you won't starve That's together. Right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it all makes sense. So th this is like the only thing you need. This is. We, this is the ultimate item in the game. It just, it's, it's, <laughs> you win. It's you the win don't having, starve. Yeah. Uh, we also... Oh, um, well, I'll, I'll do the skins a little later. A uh, couple more items are these uh, bumper kits. We have, there's the shell bumper kit and the and the kelp bumper kit. So the, both of these things, you, you know, I'll, I'll put them on the boat here. You, you can place them in these like key locations around your ship. And they provide sort of ram protect protection, mm -hmm. and the qualities of them are different. Like the the kelp are the, the the cheaper, weaker ones, and the the shell ones are the more expensive. Right. And ones. and this also makes sailing more forgiving as well. So you're yeah. not too precious about bumping into things. Right. And this one you can't just craft from the start. You 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 you'll have to find the blueprints for this one, but. Um, it's getting dark. It is getting dark. Don't dark uh, together. Yeah, you need you you craft a, a cannon and a cannonball. When each cannonball you craft, it gives you four cannonballs. It requires like gunpowder and, and cut stone. Gunpowder is not super cheap. It's mm -hmm. like it, it, yeah, it takes a little bit to make that. So you do get a couple more than just one for your for your effort. And I guess I can make a light here. Oh, how about we use? We'll use the classic boat light. There we go. This thing. There we are. So, if I deploy my cannon, then I need to load it. Let it rip. Yeah, and then and then you can uh, fire it. And so, aim it. So now I'm into aiming it, and w w depending on where you you are standing to use the cannon, it will aim away from you. And then, and then you have like sort of an arc in which you can you can aim it. Bit of reco there. Yeah. Nice. Feels heavy. So if I if I'm not holding anything that has an action on it, uh, it it knows that I have ammo in my inventory, so I can load it. 
And why would you have to, uh, I mean, what are you protecting yourself from here out in the seas? It's just a calm ocean. Right? Yeah, yeah, Nothing, of course. Nothing's going to happen to you out here. Right. Oops. We have a question from Mines Patch. Is there a yeah. lure for the for the fish collector, the trawler? Can we add things to it? Is there like, a lure for it? Yeah, like to make it more effective. Uh, it could be modded. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh yes, I was forgetting a big one. So along with with the the cannon, uh, uh, where you get the cannon from, I'll, I'll talk about it a bit. Um, there's another thing you can get, which is the dock kit. And I think this is probably uh, a lot of people's like highly sought after concept in Don't Starve, so that you can now construct land over the water. Hey, so, look at that. Yeah. So how, how far do these go? So you can construct out to the to the um, in the shallow water. You can construct in the shallow water, although there can't be stuff in the water where you're building. So I should. The squids. <laughs> <laughs> Just scurrying past. Yeah, can I grab it? No. Too far. Ah. Anyway, uh, build more out here. Yeah, so you can you can build uh, uh, some some land out on, onto the onto Keep the water, going. and in some places, uh, you know, where two two land masses are close enough together, you could actually you know construct a bridge across mm. them. Um, it has there has some drawbacks to it, like you need to be careful that you don't cannon your own uh, <laughs> uh, 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 dogs. Uh -oh. Do it. Yeah, they can take a couple hits, okay. but but. Um, the the docks on the land is what's supporting the docks in the water. So, uh, so, so you so can't be just have about them, that uh, in open open water. Yeah. You have to connect to something. Yeah, is that right. That's right. How can you get back to your boat? Can you jump it? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, make a grass boat. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. That was worth it. Yes. <laughs> yes, we're showing you how uh, yes. problem solving. That's right. Um, and then there's also this monkey thing. The rudder kit. So if I put this on my deck. Now, uh, so these these bumpers are in a certain position on my boat. And maybe maybe I don't have very many of them on my boat. And even the cannons too. Although, you know, you can aim the cannons in certain directions. You don't really want to be shooting it across your deck. Because that cannonball, as it flies, you know, it'll take out things, mm. take out mass and stuff like that. So you don't want to just be shooting it across your deck. So if I have a cannon here, but the enemy's on the other side of me, I can use my rotator to, hey. to, 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 to rotate the whole boat around. You can rotate starboard and port side. Nice. And it, uh, you, you, the more you have... Oops. Faster, it will rotate. Oh, cool! So you don't have to turn them all on. You just turn. Yeah, them yeah. They they become like a linked system, but but it you know it gives you increasingly faster rotations for so if you if you want like a really reactive boat, you could load it up with rudders. Pretty cool. Yeah. The the rudder one. The rudder, yeah. Then we have the magnet, the nautilus pilot. So we have this part of it, and then and then the beacon part of it, an autopilot beacon. So this is just an inventory item. You just like place it where you want. You can even carry it on you. Uh, and if you pair the beacon or the 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 autopilot, it attaches to one of the beacons. And now this is going to like sort of magnet pull itself towards wherever the beacon is. Mm. So now if we get this boat going. Our grass boat will follow us. Hey, nice. Yeah. So, because I guess with all the um, things that we can add onto our boat, it, it might feel a little bit cluttered. So you can yeah, just carry your cargo yeah. along. Yeah, boat with space you. is at a premium. So, yeah. so uh, this this people can make their like convoy yes. uh, uh, snake boats or. or uh, I'm very excited to see what insane contraptions people come up with with this. I've already seen um, like a pretty awesome, almost like 
uh, uh, transit system someone mm-hmm. made in, in the in, in the world gen you can make like circular maps like more more like almost like a donut world and there's like a large body of water in the middle and so they built docks out to to sort of in the middle of the water and then they had like a whole bunch of these boats all you know uh not piloted together going around in a circle wow. and they could just run out into the dock jump on a boat carry it around and then jump off the dock onto another spot it was just like the the one of the, the rainbow buses in, in uh at granville island nice <laughs> just, nice because yeah. this that's like got quite a bit of physics involved with that right to make that happen yeah yeah i would oh i'm not gonna get through there oh the grass boat would have though we should we should have made a a tribute to vancouver skin for the boat and have one that right <laughs> that, yeah. that launched yeah. itself into the into the bay <laughs> you guys know about that it's a uh, what do they call it uh oh, what they call the it? the barge yes yes barge chilling the d- uh, dude barge chilling beach yes yeah <laughs> That's that's several layers of Vancouver meme deep. Yes. That one. <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Cameo appearance gets Trying it. Find the, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Trying to find more open water down this way. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. You make the convoy. Ah uh, no. Um. Do I have what's it called again? The the skin tool? The skin tool, yeah. I think. Oh no, I probably can't do it that way. I have to do it this way. Um, yeah. So another, uh, uh, well, I'm going to get into a little bit of the skins here. Okay. There's a couple skins that I'll show off that, that uh, uh, we'll put here. So, so, so part of the Moonkey update, we also uh, have like a whole bunch of skins? Yeah, there are. There are quite a, a bunch of skins. Um, and one of them is involved for the boat. So I'm just going to wait till it's daytime here. And if, uh, if you... Uh, I believe there are also Twitch drops as well. And, uh, you know, thank you for sticking around. You should be getting a drop any time now so that is very cool all right we're almost a day what uh iqr chuck l asked did we consider making a crow's nest as an upgrade for mass that's a good idea and if we use it we will acknowledge it here right now see these are some of the new skins for the boat items it's the uh, uh, the what do they call it for the boat just the scrap metal boat yeah mm, and then, that uh, that scrap work looks very reminiscent of uh, someone we might have met before <laughs> and the wing sail is a skin for the malbatross sail which is the first skin for the Malbatross sail. I think it looks pretty cool. Yes, yes, unfold. Oh, I should have put the string wheel on first. <laughs> and, and, and then here's the here's the string wheel for it. Uh, I, need, I need this. Chaos on the stream. You got this. There we go. Oops, we got another one. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. I'm screwing up here. I've got, I've got s- stream nerves. Sa- sailing is almost like uh, one of those management Oops. games. Cancelled. Where uh, yeah. hopefully it's easier with with your peers. What are you steering there? There we go. So these are some of the skins. Mafario Bueno Ventura ask, are there plans for more kinds of boats in the future? We don't know. What type of boats would you guys like? What do we need? Hmm. This is I assumed. That I would find open water sooner over this <laughs> way. But I keep
keep bumping into islands along this way. Good both suggestions. So next I'm going to try and head out and uh, in the in the trailer that we showed at the beginning uh, you were introduced to the the Moon Key Island mm -hmm. so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find the Moon Key Island for you which I think it, it gets down this way let's go but I need open water for you to get there so there. on the hunt what do we got oh it's the edge of the world hmm. made an educated prediction and I think it was wrong. <laughs> Which means I might just have to cheat a little. You wouldn't do that. But you could. Mm -hmm. Squeak. And away we go. Let's First time chat, Kippy. More space. Yes, convoy up so you have more rooms for all your wares. Let's head this way. Now, if we're if we're lucky, I mean that in quotes, lucky. Uh, uh, we 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 may be raided by monkey pirates on the ocean. Oh, that's Doesn't... very always very exciting. <laughs> Do we have to prepare yourself for that? Uh, well, there's different ways you can prepare yourself for that. So if you get raided by pirates, you you have several options that you could do. One is that you could try and blast them, you know, shoot at them and make scare them away. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so if you know if you fire cannons at the monkey boats or monkey pirates, they don't like that. They okay. might they might turn away. Uh, or you could um, you know get into a boarding action and just like fight them. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, do your best, put on some armor. But you can also just, um, uh, they're looking for stuff. They're looking for some goods. You give them the goods and, and they'll go. So if, if you had like, you know, 10 or 15, uh, uh, just, 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 just narrowly missed that. <laughs> that was planned. If you had any 10 or 15, you know, cut grass or something, you just like, here, monkeys, take this. Uh -huh. no, oh, no. you're at the... Yeah, yeah. There we go. The other, the old bio. Yeah. So you, you, could, you could pay off the monkeys. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice. And there, and uh, of course, monkeys are always on the lookout for more bananas. But uh, you, if you engage with the monkeys uh, in combat, mm -hmm. I feel feel like that comes at a cost as well. Uh, the uh, the update title, Curse of the Monkey. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. Yes. There is a the the monkeys do carry a curse. Let's see, Eric. How is our map exploration going? Can you shoot the seaweed with cannons? Yeah, I think you can. So when you aim the cannon, there is uh, like a reticle that shows where yeah, I'll do it it'll again. hit, but it's also, it'll impact, uh, it'll damage things in its trajectory as well, right? Yes, that's right. Is there a difference in difference in damage? Uh, the, the, the cannon balls are, are quite destructive, uh, you know, uh, things that hit directly. And then where they hit the ground, they create like a, a, a blast radius. Oh, this is... Whoa, we're at uh, the Luna Island. Oh, it's, no, this, this is Pearls. This, yeah, this is, this is Pearls Island? Luna yes. Island? Luna. Oh, it is Pearls Island. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I am just going to cheat us to the All right. Island. Yeah. Do it. Do what you must. I won't look. I'll count to 10 and we'll be at... Whoosh. Okay. See how, see how close we were. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was I was yeah. kind of in the right direction. Yeah. Hey, we got a drop. What is it? A drop in the inventory. We did. Uh, yeah, for being on the on stream on the Twitch stream. Oh, we did. We yeah. got one. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, okay. So this is here. We are at the uh, uh, the Moon Key Island. Uh, here's well, I'll just give it a. Quick. The Moon Key Island is not a giant island, but. The inhabitants have made it their home. Hey, who is that? Yes, we saw snippets of them in the trailer. The tease. 
You can see the monkeys helping themselves to my inventory. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's pretty annoying. <laughs> There's the island. There's also this mysterious portal here. Hmm. Hmm. The lore. The unnatural the lore. portal. Seems to keep spitting stuff out of it. Huh. Well, where are these things coming from? Oh, it's nice that we're here at night. You can see the like sort of like evening ambience of, mm -hmm. of the moon portal. That the the little crust of shines. They lay. They were a good addition. Yes. So uh, when when we arrived into this island, mm -hmm. it seemed like a pretty safe place. There was Nothing. Other than the monkeys c c stealing all my stuff all the yes. time. But they weren't damaging you, were they? No, no. Yeah. Not unless you make them angry. Would there be any incentives uh, to engage with these monkeys? Uh, yeah, Sunset Sky says I didn't say the crust to shine uh, uh, pun correctly. Yeah, it's crust shine. Crust <laughs> shine. Is a better, yeah. Yes. Crust shine. Yeah. All right, we'll get a better look here in the daytime. It seems that the monkeys have... They've got uh, some cannons around. So if you arrive onto this island with your on your boat, mm -hmm. you can just leave your stuff on the boat and, the, and then explore the island, and then the monkeys won't steal from you? Uh, I wouldn't make that... I wouldn't make that bet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But, but, I mean, what goes around comes around. There are some boats the monkeys have to uh, be like, well, thanks. I'll take that. <laughs> That's, yeah. yeah. I bought this with all my stuff that you stole from me. Okay. Uh, Pure Soy is asking a very important question. Who is coming up with all the puns at your studio? I, it's a general, like, uh, 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 although right now Jen does uh, most of the writing, and yes. so she could probably claim most of the puns, but... Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a joint effort. It's a joint effort. It's a joint yeah. effort. Yeah. So, uh, as, we, as you were alluding to earlier, uh, the monkeys, if you fight them... Oops. I need, I need something a bit more... Lethal. Let's go with... Ah! Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, ah! Don't take it from me. Oh. But it's hard to see during the combat. I you can see that there's a, a little... Yeah. Whoa. Every time I, I uh, kill a monkey, it drops one of these accursed trinkets, mm. and and as I collect them, I'm unable to drop them. They're, they're the bounty. There you go. And if I zoom in on my character, I'm starting to show a little bit of uh, uh, monkey comes through. Tuft. Yeah. Is there a difference at, at, uh, between those monkeys that wear a bandana as well? Difference between the monkeys that wear a bandana versus yes, the ones that don't like not all of them. Yeah, the ones that wearing a bandana and bandana are wearing a bandana. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there's a difference to them. Where are some more monkeys? Can we hammer the houses to? You can. Spook yeah. them out. Oh yeah, yeah, I can do that. I thought I had a hammer. They must have stolen it from me, or I dropped it somewhere. Oh, he, oh, he took my ducks. <laughs> when they when they take stuff, they take it back into their into their oh, hut, okay. and they, they they stash it in their pirate. Right. Room. Yeah. So if you want your stuff back, you're gonna have to find the pirate. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. We have a first time oh. chat question from Arto. So why does it not reduce? Uh, is he not reducing during combat? Oh. I'm I'm playing with uh, uh, the the power like, the the, the, the uh, lousy cheat dev <laughs> dev commands because uh, uh, I'm I'm not very good at playing this game on it during a stream. Right, right. <laughs> yes. So we're, to, we're up to eight trinkets now. You can see I've 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 grown a tail. Hey, you're monkifying here. Mm -hmm. Just need to find ourselves a couple more monkeys. I, 
had a nice hammer. Had. Here we go. Uh, no, don't take my sword. <laughs> <laughs> that sneaky bugger. Okay. Let's see if I can get rid of this house. I can't get away. And you too. Okay. Alright. And Nine. if I'm if I'm unlucky enough to have killed the ten monkeys, Ooh. then psh, I get, we are monkey fight cursed. Cursed. Now Wilson's feeling a little wonky. Hey. There are some perks to being wonky. I can understand the monkeys now. Oh right, because I uh, on we always saw was oohs and ahs. Right. And you get the get the uh, if your your movement's slower than a normal character, but if you if you walk long enough, you'll kick into a run. Now you move a little faster than mm -hmm. normal characters. So, do you do you draw less aggro as wonky? Well, the monkey you're okay in the monkeys. The monkey you're a friend to the monkeys, but um, well, pretty much all the other denizens of the constant don't right. like you. Right, you're you're an outsider. Uh huh. Hey, you've got the hat. Oh yeah, does that have that hat has a perk? Yeah, the the uh, the, the powder monkeys. Those are the monkeys that, that, mm -hmm. that you know they're general kind of the crew made monkey. This hat lets you do lots of like boating crew things better, so you can paddle better, raise sails better, raise anchors better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's um, let's hang out in the water a bit and see if we can get raided. Oh yeah. Catchy songs asking. Quick question: Why is the monkey such a good singer? Does this come from experience of hearing a monkey sing? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I believe uh, one of our artists, Skin Master Lara, is the voice of the monkeys. So you have to ask them. We're talking about monkeys or wonky? Uh, oh, monkeys. I think it was just monkeys. Monkeys. So, uh, what else is there left to show here while I wait and hope that we get visited by monkeys, uh, or by, by pirates? Um, <laughs> sunset sky, a monkey, us. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's that's pretty like, good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Show the other skins. We won't be playing the games. We won't be filling in time. But maybe we're looking for a raid. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking raid? for a pirate raid. But uh, uh, how are we doing for time? We only got a little bit of time left. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for the first time chat question. Tender Loem, what instrument is Wonky's voice? Um, our sound designer Amanda mm -hmm. came up with the interesting instrument right yeah they said it was it, like a drum with the plastic thing that comes through yeah uh i'm i'm trying to understand how to explain it uh i've seen them before uh a monkey drum i, th I think that's what it yeah is. yeah that's it Ten tenderloin i think has it right quicker yeah it just made sense Shout outs to sound designer Amanda. They hood it. Sometimes when you're working on Don't Starve, there's lots of just like little serendipitous things with puns or whatever. And if if, if it's called a monkey drum, then that's like one of those yeah. things. <laughs> we gotta use it. It was yeah, it was destiny. Hey, shout out Brazil. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe Amanda can do a sound sound stream one of these days. Yeah, that'd be good. It would be cool. You've got cannons ready for anything. Yeah. Well. I think we should uh, show off some skins and then and then do the art stream. Let's do it. We'll do the, uh, talk about the art yeah. and then uh, we can answer some questions while we wait. Sounds good. Yeah. So uh, let's take a look at that. 
Yes, Jason and I are open books, so whatever DST related questions you have, um, shoot us, shoot us up. Uh, that's not what I want. Wait, you can dress up wonky too? Yeah. Hey. Whoops. Uh, I'm just gonna disconnect for now. We'll just go to the curio cabinet. Uh, Finico 06Z. This isn't a fully dedicated art stream, but uh, you know we'll, we'll be able to show some of the uh, development involved with this update. So a bunch, a bunch of the, the survivors got swashbuckling uh, uh, outfits. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is this is Wes's swashbuckler outfit, and Willow got this one. First time chat question from Cosmic Space seventy eight. Thank you so much. Are the monkeys the same as cave monkeys? I believe not. They are not. They are different. Oh, I'll save my favorite for last. Then. Wait, you have favorites? You don't have favorites. I think Wait, you my skins. <laughs> my favorite skins. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, favorite yeah. skins. Yeah. And Look at this. Wigfrid. The Wigfrid's coat. I love the, the. You know, it's like very classic kind of piratey cloak. It goes mm -hmm. for. I could wear that on anybody. Misty Nugget asks, who made the skins? We have to give all the uh, all the praise to our skins team. Mm -hmm. uh, Layra, Grace, um, Jordan, Jordan as well, yeah. yeah. Peter on the back end of that as well, helps out a lot. This is this one looks very Kratos to me. I think of God of War mm -hmm. when I see this. <laughs> yeah. And Woody? Woody's got this. But then I think my favorite is oh, it's always words. Wet. <laughs> yeah. It's always the, wet. The, uh, I when I first saw this when they when the skins team showed this to me, I was like, how how did you change the animation of the feet? Oh yeah. Uh, uh, they didn't. They just you know it's very clever. Well, they they know what they're doing, so they just you know they use what exists already, but they you know it makes it gives it a very different look. Mm -hmm. So I really like that. It's a. Uh... It's very creative what they were able to get away with. Yeah, yeah. So there's those skins. And there's also, whoops. Oh, here we go. Hey, is this is uh, uh, a login. We get the, uh, um, the, uh, the powder monkeys have the little, the little bandana. Mm -hmm. And there's a, uh, you can skin those, like there's a couple of skins for those. And then there's another hat that you can get called the, the, the tricorn. Which uh, these are some skins for that, and they they belong to the prime mate. The prime mate, yes. which we didn't get to. We didn't to get to yet. So, oh, we uh, so you can get those skins. Uh, do, 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 do. Is it here? No. Do, do. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. So. Uh, oh, on on, on um, the boat, I didn't I didn't change the the uh, the plank. You also can get the, oh, the, yes. the new walking plank for the right. for when you when you make the the metal boat, the scrap metal boat. So, let's let's look at the at the well, artwork. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and uh, you know, I think that was just the. A good introduction to uh, Curse of Moon Key. There's a lot more to explore. There's a, there, well. there's a couple more things. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So is well, it there's a flying bird? Yeah, I I would I, I was gonna show Polly after you know, afterwards, okay. but yeah, we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. If we don't get to it, that's we'll fine. We'll tease. We'll yeah. tease. So, uh, I th you can still hear the game music. I assume is that is that too distracting? Should I turn that down? Um, let's see. Thumbs up, bit, thumbs up. Bit, bit three asks, "Where did the metal come from?" Uh, uh, you, you, there's lots of things in the game that are made out of metal, like the like the alchemy machine, but this is just like right. cut stone to make it. Uh, yes. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, showing us that game stuff, mm -hmm. Jason. Um, and I will talk art with you guys. So, uh, first of all, I'm just once again very excited that we get to uh, share all this work that we've 
had under our belt for the past six months and it takes a huge well a small family to make all this happen so thank you to all the designers and programmers here and all the artists as well being able to do this or uh, hybrid from home and some of the studio as well so <laughs> uh, yeah we would have started um, concepting this stuff as early as January and I think um, what happened was, was like we need ideas and everyone draw so uh, our art team um, is just fantastic we juggle uh, animating designing uh, uh, like building things and then like testing it so there's so much involved and I think this concepting phase is one of our favorites where we were can just uh, let our imaginations go crazy uh, and so with the with the game designers they kind of lay out uh, a, uh, a loose theme like we know that we wanted to do pirates so here we are just uh, sketching um, and yeah so uh, we are not limited at all at this point so um, you'll see some of these things that might not even look like the end result but uh, these drawings aren't wasted because we need to see these to see like whether or not we want to lean more into it or or take a different direction. So um, yeah, we just go through through these. Some of these are, are from Phil, and I think this is Anne Marie as well, and Haley's drawings there. So we're looking for. We knew we we wanted to have like a, a hierarchy in our um, with our pirates. So like a, a lead figure and then kind of like a junior figure and medium figure so you can see these here so you can just uh, skip through um, yeah <laughs> barrel of monkeys is just too good so yeah we can keep going here uh, yeah more barrels of monkeys and um, yeah big... this is before we had it like it's the queen of the monkeys this is just like it was the uh, the the big boss the big boss so it's like a king, yeah. monkey king yeah yeah um, so then this is uh, kind of the flip of that where instead of like we have a big boss we have a small boss as well and then I guess uh, you know this kind of helps us figure out um, the personalities that we want these characters to have and helps Jen create a story for them as well where are these guys um, yeah uh, this was uh, one of the first ideas that Jen actually had, who's a writer, but she can draw. <laughs> um, she used to be a storyboard artist, but we're lucky to have her as a writer. Uh, I think this was the first coined term for Powder Monkey that she had, which is actually a real term that <laughs> they they used out on the seas. Mm -hmm. Ch children would would be on the boats, and they would their job would be to take gunpowder to the cannons, and so they were called Powder Monkeys. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, this is Stephanie's uh, concept here, and so we're not too strict on um, the style during the concept phase. Everyone has their unique personal style, and it's kind of easier to draw that way. It's more intuitive. But then, when we kind of start uh, tying it down, then we'll bring it into the DST style. Uh, this is Amanda, our sound designer, also draws their Pirate Queen concept and yeah we're getting closer here um, these are my drawings um, yeah I'm just kind of finding ways to uh, reuse the the pigman build as you can see with the with the middle one um, oh yes so this is a uh, so, so if we look at this drawing um, we see kind of the the foundation of the powder monkeys where we have these long arms and my idea was that uh, the monkeys came from the portals and they've had to adapt to life on the water so they kind of emulated stilts on the water so that's why they're actually walking on their arms to stay off the water so uh, yeah there's there's a bit of personality in in that design Uh, this is just testing out some movement uh, for the monkey, how they would row the boat. I, I really liked how you did the design where they, they basically they use their arms like feet and their feet like hands. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very, it's very, just a nice little touch. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
we've seen this. I think that's it for characters. Okay. Characters two. Uh, yeah, so this is fleshing out um, more of, uh, as we start animating. And this is my animation. This is as crude as uh, I work in, in the rough state. And the goal is just to uh, test out how it feels. Um, and then I can just sh show this to the team um, and then get Jason to even hook this up in game. So it will look like this in our, mm -hmm. uh, in our testing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, more more work in progress. They, you guys didn't get to see this yet, where the, the where the powder monkeys are like crewing a boat. Right, we didn't, we didn't get there, but uh, yeah, just more polish for that. Uh, this is their their hand leg walk there, just testing out the the stride. Uh, yes, early development. And I guess, yeah, I just got a sea monkey at that point. Um, and these are more designs for uh, the, 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 the king or the queen at this point, just trying to figure out shapes and how we want them to be placed in the world, uh, kind of uh, how we want their presence to be felt. Do we want them, when we meet them, to be brooding or do we want them to, uh, like, I really like the, the one in the bottom corner there where it's kind of like a, a, a stuck up, snobby, um, kind of palaquin. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. All right, and uh, yeah, so this was e either going with the little king idea or the big king, which became big queen. Um, and I think we went with the big, uh, bigger shaped uh, queen to contrast the little shaped uh, powder monkeys. And this is also <laughs> how I test as well. It's a big potato ball on on a on a hammock <laughs> yes uh, yes and this is um, rough animation for the transformation sequence when you become wonky we didn't even show them if you can not become wonky mm. but I guess you have to figure that out oh I guess you can see it here. <laughs> <laughs> well the rough state anyway yes you can un unwonkify as well so the curse is removable. And uh, I, I know when we show this to uh, people on the stream, they get a bit confused with all the hair and the pigtails and stuff like that. Uh, but um, pretty much we have one animation file for the character that we're able to swap assets out for each, each character. It's very, it seems very efficient, but... Um, I, I forget, like... I'm so used to it. It's yes. when someone uh, outside the team or something like that, you know, be there and we'll be talking about it. And you can see them like, <laughs> it's like, what, what, like what, what is this thing for? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, thank just... you for the question, first time chat. What's off, uh, Chrono Sloth? We use Adobe Animate for uh, most most of the art. Or yes, in game. And uh, yeah, maybe we can do another art stream where we really break down a file. That would be fun. If you want to see that, let Jan know. There you go. Okay, we can go to the next next one. Um, how are we doing for time? We got like ten minutes. Yeah, we got ten minutes left. Yes, if we do an art stream, it'd be good to do it with uh, the trailer team as well. I really wanted to show some of the trailer. Uh, storyboards and rough animation but we didn't have enough time for the stream so maybe we'll um, get that all together for our art and sound stream uh, this was a uh, rough art from Stephanie who uh, did the, the portrait art for Wonky nice. and this was the first idea for oh I didn't show that <laughs> yes it's in this, game. It's, yeah, this is in game. This is another skin that you can get for the uh, the fashion melon. So uh, this was one of yeah, uh, just a concept, and I was like, ha ha ha, we should get this banana hat, and then they're like, yeah, we should do a banana hat, <laughs> and then so you know sometimes uh, 
it just makes sense. I, I don't know how many times I was like, oh yeah, we got to use the the uh, we got to make a new plant that can grow large bananas, just right. like you know the, the large things, and then we use the large banana to make the hat. And every time I would come to the, you know be be like, no, we can't use the large banana because then you can't craft. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> GD I did Dog that daily. GD Dog Affinity asks who animated the shorts. We have a team uh, for that. Uh, Janice and uh, Daniel McGregor, Rich. I don't know if I should be using last names. Uh, well, son. Son. Uh, uh, we have people. Uh, more. Ragnar as well. Ragnar. And then we have sound people on that. Mm -hmm. Composer. Uh, maybe I think Emmett mm -hmm. was on that. Uh, yeah. Yes. Good. Good Vince. solid crew. Uh, this was, uh, Zach put this together because uh, he wanted a banana guard and this is why <laughs> Zach doesn't do art for uh, the team. <laughs> if, if someone wants to want this, go ahead. Thank you, Zach. Uh, yeah, next one. Okay, next one. Oh, that's that's it. Um, this is uh, the, uh, one of our designers, Hugo, um, putting together this is world gen. Is that what you call it? He was working on the world gen for the Monkey Island. Yeah, how the the docks get sort of procedurally generated. So that you know, like the the generally the, when the, the Monkey Island gets spawned in the world, um, it, it has this like skull motif to it. But uh, uh, the the hair is is different each time, and it's like, like a it's work. like a wag skull. Yeah, <laughs> like, like a shaggy mane of hair. Yeah. So this was like uh, showing. This isn't a progression of them. This is like uh, uh, eight instances of the same code running, showing you all how different it can be. Um, yeah, this is, uh, so yeah, early on we just showed kind of the character development and this is more of the world development that we have. Uh, and this is just early concepts for filling up the uh, kind of where the monkeys live. So just early development for that. Kind of trees, or, uh, houses on on uh, what's it stumps. Mm -hmm. um, and this is Anne Marie fleshing out some of that as well. I love that Wilson. We all uh, enjoy each other's rough Wilson drawings because he's kind of like uh, usually when we design, it's nice to put a character just for for size reference. Mm -hmm. and Wilson's kind of the default, and we all have shorthand ways of drawing him. <laughs> more Anne-Marie development here. Get, getting closer. Now she's uh, exploring colors and one it's quite a challenge to come up with colors because once uh, we put them in game we also have the color cube that we have to uh, accommodate for as well. Yes, more Anne-Marie development here. More Anne-Marie. I really love how Anne-Marie creates worlds. Uh, she's a big part of how the carnival looks the way it does. Mm -hmm. um, and she's just got a great sense of world building here. Uh, yeah, we're just putting things together here. It's coming together with the the uh, kind of the, the boardwalk and the hanging team. Smoochu asks, color cube, is that like a mother box? I, I'm not sure what a mother box is, but the color cube is like, it's like a post-processing uh, color effect. Like when in the game, when it turns into winter, everything comes a little bit more blue. When it goes summer, everything's, you know, sort of that more orangey color. That's due to the color cube. Uh, Lacknish Monster asks, who had the idea for Monkey Tales? The name or the actual art? Because it would have been a combination of a few people. I think Amory did the design, the, the art design for it, and the name was probably from Jen. I think this is Phil's art here. Uh, yeah, so this is um, putting together kind of the uh, what is it like the the motif for <laughs> when we we're, when we're introduced to the king or queen? Uh, Anne Marie's polish. Ham and Heli asks, <laughs> "Is it poop on the roof of the monkey houses?" 
Uh, yes. I can't, oh. <laughs> yes. I can't guarantee what it is, but I wouldn't lick it. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so this was one of my early sketches as well. Um, kind of the concept that I had was uh, that that worked really well with monkeys was that the monkeys really love bananas, and so when they're in the constant, the thing that um, they're drawn to is the moon, which looks like a banana at times. So they kind of worship the moon as well. Mm -hmm. So the, the throne that the queen is on could be a monkey or, I mean, or could banana. be a banana or a moon, mm -hmm. depending. Some tree designs from Phil here. Oh yes, so there's, there's the monkey tail, there's mm -hmm. Anne-Marie right there. Thank you, Adam O'Landam for the very nice compliments. We're glad that you love our game because we love making it. Uh, this is uh, Haley's concepts for the uh, menu screen that you see. It's it's so hard when you come up with four great designs and having to pick one. Um, yeah. Cool. And should we? This is last. Uh, What's this one? We have kind of the objects that we designed. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, we we can go there. Yeah. Okay. You can't stop us, Jan. We're gonna keep on going. We'll go for a little longer. Uh, yeah, concepts for uh, bumpers here. Um, yeah. Sometimes we will have an idea that we just don't know if we can execute in game, like the tentacles, for example. Uh, like the concept is so great, but we're kind of tied technically at, at, for some things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just being able to place them around would be very mm -hmm. tricky. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, contest for cannons. Shout outs to uh, Marcus who did a lot of the uh, design and programming for the for these yeah. things. Phil's cannon turnaround. Mm -hmm. uh, Amory's designs for the cursed object. It's like, what is it going to be? Is it, mm -hmm. it going to be a coin? Is it going to be a bead? It's going to be a show. And yeah, well, I mentioned this before, like we, it, sometimes it's hard to say no to a good design and it's not that the art is bad, is that um, it just doesn't fit what we need or, or one thing just is able to uh, convey the idea that we, that we need. Uh, Stephanie's designs for the cutlass. Uh, this is Haley's uh, concepts for the grass boat. Had a few iterations. Yeah, I guess at one point it was going to be sticks. But mm -hmm. do you do you know why we would go from sticks to grass? Is it like a resource thing? Or just like uh, well, when, thing? when we you know we know the the ingredients we're going to use more. It was like it was more there was more grass than, than mm -hmm. sticks. So yeah. also the the the, the regular boat is wood. So uh, we would want to lean away from wood right. to like differentiate them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Haley uh, fleshing out the the pirate boat. Uh, this is Haley's design for the the nano pilot. Is that what it's called? Which I just called a magnet, but yeah, this is her early design for that. With her, with her Wilson drawings, which I love too. <laughs> um, yeah, this is her uh, rough animation. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> Design for the, the battle paddle. paddle. Yes. Um, concepts for the uh, rotator. This was Steph's early design here. More 
teleportation things. Uh, Steph's designs for the the uh, trawler. Yeah, originally it was going to be a thing on the boat, but we, then we made it a separate, um, mm -hmm. more like a trap. Right. And that saves up space for the boat and also, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Also, it works when some, uh, an object is more like vertical as mm -hmm. opposed to mm -hmm. like offside. Some of her animation here. Yeah, That's there it. we go. Um, there is much, much more, uh, but we are limited by time. And so, how are we doing? Are we, are we going to show anything else? Or? Um, well, we can answer. Let's let's answer a few questions. I'll I'll show Polly off. Sure. Yeah. Thank you for uh, joining us this stream. We're just about wrapping up, but uh, if you have any. Uh, pressing questions get them in now and we'll fire off our answers and uh, stick around as well because after this stream we'll be raiding Gr uh, Griver 84 and they're they'll be playing DST so you can see how they're faring on the seas what do they got here all right so one of the items that uh I did not show off yet, is the Polly Rogers hat. So when you put this hat on, Polly Rogers, this uh, very handy bird shows up. She basically follows you around. Mm -hmm. And if there's stuff on the ground, she, she'll collect it for you. Very handy. Okay, there was a lot of questions, but I couldn't catch up with them, so I lost them all. But, uh, oh, can it be repaired? Uh, what? Uh, Tiki Po? Uh, <laughs> okay, that wasn't a good idea. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh you, got a big, you got a big swath of questions. Did yeah. You? <laughs> um, yes, if you have questions, <laughs> ask the forum. Um, send art on the, on the forums as well. We, we love showcasing them at the beginning of the streams and we enjoy going through them. Um, it's also uh, the summer sale on Steam right now. And uh, if you are trying to get um, a crew together and they don't have DST, it's pretty cheap right now. Plus you, they get a copy if they get it. So, you know, the more the merrier. So enjoy that. Uh, we have Canada Day, Canada Day coming up. Tomorrow, yeah, someone yeah. someone thanked us for that. Yes. Uh, Opak9 asks, is there X marks the spot's buried treasure? And where there's pirates, there's buried treasure. So you, you can, yeah, you can look for that. Uh, yes, I guess that's it. Thank you so much. Aaron8964 <laughs> asks. I guess that's it. <laughs> Will Pearl's sale be permanent? And yeah, that, the, the the idea of it being a sale was just a joke because of Steam sale. But yeah, that's that's just a permanent change. Hey, it's good to be back, Jason. Yeah, this was fun. Thanks everyone for letting you show us our stuff. Oh, 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 oh! oh I was leaving you hanging. <clears throat> you guys saw that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have a have a good summer break, everyone. Yeah. Enjoy Thanks for watching our stream and and uh, have a good time at Griever 84s stream. Salute. Aye, aye, and goodbye.